Hello, good morning everybody and welcome back to another session with me. I am your host Abdul Rahman and today we will be looking at another activity from GCE Ordinary Level Paper. As we are doing part 2, today we will be focusing on test number 10. Test number 10 is usually a part of grammar. The sound knowledge in grammar will help you to achieve the full marks that is given there. Usually it had been 5 marks since 2016. As we are starting from 2016, let us look at the paper which is of that year. In 2016, you were given a passage and you had to fill in the blanks. But there was a catch. There were extra words given to you. And the blanks were such as this. For example, there was a particular line which said vegetables and pieces of paper are blank. And within brackets, it was given to you that easily decomposable. And in the box that was given above to you, there were similar words. For example, there was one word which was recycled, another word which was perishable. You had to choose the word and fill in the blank. Now the answer that you know as you know already is perishable. In 2017, your knowledge in phrasal verbs came in handy. For example, the plane took off from the airport. So took off is a phrasal verb. My friend came over to my place. Came over is another phrasal verb. So these type of verbs were important to you in 2017. 2018 tested your knowledge in affixes. You know that affixes can be divided into two as prefix and postfix. For example, employment, if you can add a word or two letters UN, it becomes unemployment. This addition of a word or a set of words or it can be letters before a particular word is known as prefix or suffix for you. And then, if the word that is given to you is employ and you add M-E-N-T, it becomes employment. So adding a, a particular word such as M-E-N-T or letters after the given word is known as postfix. Right, let us take an example. If I were to give you three words, happy, happily, happiness. And this was a sentence to, given to you, such as this. My friend dash ate the cake. Is it happy, happily or happiness? My friend happily ate the cake. If I were to take another example, please use your dash puppy. Is it judge or judgment or judgingly? It should be judgment, right? So that was your knowledge that was expected in 2008. In 2019, however, they up the ante and ask you to convert a few sentences into reported speech. Reported speech, which is quite easy for you, was the target to be achieved in 2019. In 2019, what happened was, for example, I am a good boy. He said that he was a good boy. I like to eat fish. He said that he liked to eat fish. It rained yesterday. It had rained steadily. So these sort of formats were expected from you. 
So I would like to give you some exercises based on these years and I also hope sincerely hope that you would focus your attention more on the grammar parts as well because that is also a focus of GC 4 level exam paper. Thank you very much. I'll see you again tomorrow.